Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm standing here at my main breaker panel as you can see here. Now, I know what I'm doing, so don't think that I'm, you know, being dangerous or anything. I've got a clamp on amp meter here, and I'm running it off of the one of the main 120 volt lines that are coming in right here. Now this is my main shutoff right here. This is a 100 amp service. And so I've got the two hundred and tens basically that are coming in, and as you can see here, they're reading nothing. Um, and the other one here is also reading basically nothing. Okay, so by the way, that TV and someone you hear in the background that's running off of my solar since it's very nice and bright out. My panels are putting out about fifty-five amps right now. But anyways, I've got a problem, and hopefully somebody out there will have an idea. I'll show you. So, I've got nothing coming through right now, and there's one breaker here. <clears throat> this breaker right here, General Lights, okay? This breaker here is causing me problems because it's drawing energy from where I don't have any idea but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and turn the breaker on this this breaker right here this this one that's down here is the general lights so I'm gonna go ahead and flip it on and watch what happens okay now I don't have any lights on at all nothing okay I'm being serious I, I was trying to diagnose this last night just trying to figure out where this draw is coming from. Now it starts out about an amp and then starts to come down from there. Okay. And it'll settle. It should start settling here pretty quick. But if you'll see here, you'll notice that um, whatever this is, is some kind of a battery. Some kind of motor that's starting up. You know, I, I have no idea what it is because this breaker is supposed to be for lights only this you can see right there it's general lights and furnace I've got the furnace shut off um, the the breaker to the furnace is turned off so what is this you can see it's see it's starting to settle now a little bit can anybody tell me what could possibly be here I've got every other breaker off with the exception of this one right here. We'll go ahead. Well, actually, that's the one. Sorry. Without the... There. All right. So, right there. Okay, so now everything... Let's go ahead and turn off the bathroom. Okay, so everything is off with the exception of this one 15 amp breaker that is supposed to be for lights only. So can somebody explain to me what is possibly drawing? You can see here it's settling at about a half an amp, okay? And let's see if I can get focused here. So it's settling at about a half an amp. What is causing this? I'd really like to know. Anybody out there who has any kind of ideas as far as... Now, I live in a mobile home. It was manufactured in 2014. So it's up to the most recent code standards, unless there's something small that I've missed. But you can see that this is a brand new box. And I honestly cannot figure out what is causing this problem. So something is drawing half an amp constantly, okay? Now that's at 110 volts. So you're looking at about 40 to 50 watts of electricity that is constant, okay? That's, you know, that's like leaving five or six lights on all day long okay that's what it is so I'm trying to figure this out well guys I am pissed I have every breaker off except for the general breaker and look at that it's got power <laughs> I cannot believe this this is the heat wrap that is underneath the house now uh, in the winter time that's definitely needed because it can freeze okay in the summertime it's not needed but the damn thing is still running in the summer okay it has to drop below freezing to even get close to these pipes freezing okay <laughs> I cannot believe this heat wrap is running it's drawing a half an amp per hour even as with as hot as it's been it's drawing that much electricity another crappy thing is, is there's an extension cord a 16 gauge extension cord that wasn't meant to be outside that is underneath here I don't understand why that is, but anyway, so yeah, this right here 
is ridiculously connected to the lights. I cannot believe this. I can't believe that they did that, but that's what they did. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> come on, seriously. So anyway, now I know where my leech is coming from. It's coming from this heat tape that shouldn't even be running, but it is. And so, yeah, that pisses me off. But anyway, so I found the problem. Ah. <sighs> So something that I learned today, or the last couple of days actually, is that my stuff here all uses electricity that I didn't think it would. I've got a, a manual washer, but this washer uses about 10 watts, 10 to 12 it looks like approximately, per hour. Now this is the washer for my clothes okay so that's in standby that's not doing anything at all unbelievably it uses that much okay my furnace uses about that same amount per hour in standby so the furnace I shut off because I don't use it obviously the AC that's part of the furnace but this actually doesn't draw any energy at all until the compressor is actually running so that's not an issue my hot water heater obviously is electric that has to stay on but, uh, yeah, it uses quite a bit of electricity when I use hot water or it needs to keep the water up to temperature. Surprisingly, my dryer as well uses a little bit of electricity. It was like 5 or 6 watts an hour to run in standby. The microwave, oh my god, 44 watts an hour the microwave uses just to be in standby. Can you believe that? 44 watts an hour, okay? So that's like leaving four or five light bulbs on 24/7. Dishwasher disposal doesn't use anything, but um, you know I just it's off. You know whatever. I guess I can turn it on. It doesn't use anything. Uh, kitchen and so on. Obviously nothing's plugged into it right now. This is normally where my uh, fridge would be located, but I have the fridge plugged into the inverter, so that's not even being used at all. Um, the general lights, as you guys figured out, uh, with me, the, the heat wrap is uh, on the general lights uh, breaker, which it's not even a, GF, a GFCI breaker, so I don't understand why, but I went ahead and unplugged them anyways, so this is on and it's drawing nothing, because obviously there's no lights on. So, and then the rest of these obviously are, you know, what they should be. Now... Uh, I am doing some testing with my smoke detectors. That's why this is off right now It uses about a quarter of an amp per hour for the five smoke detectors we have, but they are on battery as well So what I'm doing is I'm just I have them off right now because it's a good idea to test the batteries Because uh, obviously if there's a power outage and you have a fire and the batteries don't work well That's not gonna help you very much. So I'm just seeing within the next 24 to 48 hours if the smoke detectors start to beep or anything um, so anyway, that's that's why that's off right now. Obviously, I would never go without smoke detectors. That's stupid. But um, so anyway, yeah, I, uh, this is it's amazing the stuff that is leaching that you don't realize. And what really caught my attention was you know that that heat wrap is drawing almost 100 watts an hour because there's two. There's one rod that goes down into the riser. And then there's another one that wraps around the pipe as it goes to and up to the hot water heater. So there's two of them running. That's where all the energy was going to. Amazing, really, that uh, they put it on this general lights breaker. I mean, I, I don't know. Whatever. I, somebody who's an electrician who builds mobile homes, maybe you can tell me why they do that. I figured it would be on its own GF, uh, GFCI. Um, breaker maybe even since the kitchen is right there where it's at why they don't tie it into the kitchen GFCI which is a 20 amp because the microwave is on its own and I don't have an electric stove so there's no reason why it can't go on the 20 amp kitchen GFCI but anyway that's about it folks a uh, little investigation and now my meter is basically at a standstill and it's beautiful because I'm not using my microwave, I'm not using my washer and dryer, I'm not using my furnace. Um, so why would I need those on? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care. It is a beautiful day 
super solar. I love it.